This is a journal that I write in. I started it about um, a year ago. It was after my first pro fight. These were my goals right here, 2017. I said this year I wanted to get four to six fights. I wanted to get a belt in the regional area, but it didn't because I got to UC. But I said, get into the UFC, quit the Cheesecake Factory, and take over the MMA scene. Next year we're going to finish. We're going to get that title. Last year, fight week, December 30th, for Cody's fight, I was staying here at the Aria, and it, I was in fight camp, and I saw these gummy bears, and I couldn't eat them just yet, because I had a fight coming up. So I had saved them, and since ever since then, it's been a tradition for me to buy gummy bears, and then once I have my fight, I go ahead and enjoy my gummy bears in peace by myself in my room. Thank you. Check out this gift basket. Pepto Bismo? <laughs> Pepto Bismo and some, you know. Nah. Should keep it PG 13. Let's put you in that heavyweight. This girl works out all day long, so it's just staying sharp for the week. Keep her blood flowing, keep her heart rate up. She's obviously tapered down. Her weight's great. It's right where it needs to be, and everybody's happy. So it's going to be fun. I just broke sweat a little bit just for losing a couple pounds more. And yes, sweat a little bit. Push, 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 push. Push, push. To be honest, she's feeling insanely strong for two days out. Most people that are cutting weight right now don't feel as good as she feels. She's got a lot of snap, a lot of power. She's good. Oh, nice. I'm really excited for Saturday night. She's gonna, she's gonna do some work. Doesn't go past the second round, knockout. The process, when you've done it for so many years and you've done it so many times, it doesn't get easier, but it definitely gets to a point where you know your body. She knows exactly where she's at today, and she knows exactly what she needs to be, where she needs to be on Saturday. Some days it's more ground-based, some days it's more stand-up-based, but I work on all of it equally, I really do. Every day there's a kind of a different goal, you know? The fight can go anywhere. I actually get like anxiety for training every single day. If I don't make the most of it, then I've wasted a day of preparation. I figure the day that I don't care is the day that I should retire, you know? When she first started the fight game, they said, you know, there's two girls that everybody wanted to see her fight, which was Ronda Rousey and Chris Cyborg. So the first chapter is done, and um, we're getting ready to uh, put an end to the second chapter. I'm burning calories, I'm shedding some pounds. Also, just just flowing and staying sharp. Feels familiar. I've been here a lot of times before, and I'm excited. I'm having a lot of fun this week. You know, it feels nice to be in here working with my team, and you know, almost, almost at the end point, almost at the culmination of all this hard work that we put in. Honestly, the best time of a fight is when it's over. <laughs> and the pressure is relieved. The buildup, it's fun, but it's intense, but I'm also just ready to get this thing done. We're just getting work out in, you know, stack some mids, move around. <laughs> okay, I gotta do the all the way over here, ready? And you take this, and then, uh, don't do it like this because yeah you know half power. Okay. Yeah you have power. Uh, yeah. Here. Yeah. So don't go. Keep you're your telling me I'm going up like this? No, not turn your body like this. We just some stuff about hypercut or some. <laughs> she has the potential. Now it's up to her to want it. Champion is also mindset. If she has that mindset and want it, she will become champ. She don't run too much for you can make more fight nice. Well, you hope, but let's be honest. Yeah, she's gonna she's, run. She's yes. gonna move. Yeah, she's gonna move. Okay, let's assume she does the one thing you don't want her to. She moves nonstop, you can't tag her, you can't get her. I have five rounds for catch her. I just have to have patience to find the opportunity, and then when you get the opportunity, try to finish the fight. 
you saw the knockout, you were watching the fight? You know, funny because when I watched Holly and Ronda, I was training for Ronda Weddy. Of course, you were linked to Ronda Rousey for a long time, but what about Holly Holm? When did she start getting on your radar as like, that's somebody I could have a great fight with? You know, everybody don't have the opportunity to see me and Ronda. And Holly is the girl beat Ronda. It is a great fight. Everybody want to watch this fight. <laughs> I still never put so much thought into it that this is the only thing on my mind. Otherwise, I would not have been ready for other fights. Everything's on the line. You know, you train so hard and you have this this goal in front of you. And once the doors are locked, it's just you and this other opponent, and it's in front of millions to see. Honestly, I'm chomping at the bit to fight this one. Like I, I, I have a. I'm on a lot of fire right now. I'm ready to get out there. It's not like all of a sudden I'm, I'm gone and I'm not the fighter that I, that I was. And, that, and it's all, it's, it's not gone. I'm still here. I'm still, still got it. What's up, guys? How are you doing, Basil? Uh, How are you feeling to be? Good, feeling good. I am so hungry about my fights. You know, like, I can't wait when I go to the Octagon. I'm gonna show, like, how improve my boxing game. You know, like, my striking, my kicking, like, everything. Edson is, like, great striker. You know, he's one of the best in UFC. And what happened if I knock him out on stand-up? This is my plan. This is my plan. I'm gonna stay with him. I'm gonna stay. He have to know this. Às vezes você, quando você monta uma estratégia, você pensa muito no que seu oponente vai fazer. E esse momento que você está pensando no que seu oponente vai fazer, você poderia estar pensando no que você vai fazer. Como eu falei, é, o foco é 100% em mim, cara, porque eu sei se eu chegar lá e dar o meu melhor, eu vou vencer. O principal você está preparado. She's a giant killer, so she steps up. Uh, the, the big events, the, the big people, the people that come at her, the, the people that scare everybody else, that's where Holly shines. The difference is, you know, when the cage door shut, Holly just steps up, and, and uh, from all the girls I believe that fought Cyborg in, in the past, they look at her and they say, whoa. And they, they, she imposes her fear on everybody. She imposes her will that way. It's already as much a mental game where Holly's like, don't bring it. I'm gonna need a couple people. Only if you want to. I always say no obligation. But if you'd like to come join us, boom, right here. Boom, right here. Do you know what you're signing up for? <laughs> Just, she's at first, she's happy, she's fun to have around. She's gonna go gigantic, even bigger she already is. But, but she likes it, at the end of the day, she just likes having fun. She's already ready to go. We're cutting weight today, so we're not going to get too worked up out there, but just go out there, say hi to the fans, is what she wants to do. She wants to go see them. Good luck. Yeah, With this fight, we decided to do a bear drive for Christmas. The fans have just really rallied behind her, bringing in all sorts of bears that are going to be donated to the Children's Hospital of Las Vegas here, the Sunrise Hospital. I just don't want to be the champion of the occasion and beat the girls. I want to be the champion of life. I want to help each other. You know, I think we're here for that, for make the difference. You know, it's a little thing. You think it don't change, but you know, it change your life. <laughs>